I think people know the difference between virtual reality and augmented reality. Are they linked? Are they related? Or are they really two different, completely the, different ideas? They they are. Um, I I say they're two storms. Um, the VR one is hitting the shore right now, and the AR one is a bigger storm, but it's out there. You know, three, four, five, six years out there. Um, is it VR the new is, user interface? Your, I mean, VR means. Let me go over and get my headset here. He's, he's going to put you his know, Vive on. The guy we can't keep well, the Vive I, off of him. <laughs> you know, do you VR mean, means now, now. Really, be honest with me though. How many hours a day do you spend wearing VR gear? You don't. Uh, today, uh, an hour. Yes, yeah, so maybe you know, it's it, me. Maybe I'm getting old because I don't play video games as long as I used to either. But I don't find it that compelling that I go, oh, I can't wait to get off work and put my helmet on. Uh, the social VR is really pretty cool. I'll have to try have that. you been into something called Rec Room? No. Yeah, that's that's pretty amazing. And and there's better ones coming. A, a high fidelity. Uh, Re um, Reverb Mike in our chat room says they're birth all space VR. Calls them birth and, control and, and goggles. <laughs> I, you know what? I don't have that problem. Uh, you don't I need don't that. You don't. Kids. Birth control, good, Robert. Good. Stop now. Uh, <laughs> um, and your kids and love my these. Kids lo my kids love it. Yeah. I got, the kids took to it faster than that's they took more to telling. The I mean, that's more telling. Although, yeah. remember, we said, oh, every, I mean, kids take to the iPad like crazy. They get it right away. That hasn't really propelled iPad sales any further. Yeah. It's going to be an interesting couple of years and see where it goes. And so back to the question, VR, you're stuck in a black box. You don't see through this right. to the real world. AR, you're looking through optics that put virtual items on top of the real world. And like if I was wearing the ho HoloLens, there could be a dancer on the floor here. There could be uh, zombies coming out of the wall. In fact, I played a game that was exactly like that. And the, the zombies actually look like they're coming out of the wall. And you, you look around and you walk around the game and it's stuck on the wall. It, it's amazing technology that they're using to, to do that. And yes, it's early days. We, we don't have the categorization systems done. The optics uh, are still fairly sucky. The, the systems need to be shrunk down so that they can, can be much smaller and much nicer looking. Um, what else needs to be done? Audio needs to be way better because uh, audio's audio best is on audio. right now. The Vive really wins on that. Oh no, the Rift really wins on that because it has built-in headphones yep. and the sound quality is yep. excellent. Um, yep. There's a Rift, the Oculus Rift. Yeah. Yep. Um, so, but the Vive is the one with the paddles. Maybe that'll change when the Rift gets the its paddles later this year. Later this year. Yep. Um, the Vive you can move around. The Rift you can't. The, uh, the PlayStation VR it looks like it'll be a, a seated experience mostly. Um, have you played with Magic Leap? Because this is the one that everybody's excited about, uh, but all we've ever seen is video <laughs> demos that are obviously lies. It, it drives me nuts because I, I, I know the vice president of communications over there and he won't let me see it. <laughs> well, that uh, worries me. Is it another Theranos? N no, they're, uh, they're just not ready for consumers yet, and they don't want to talk to consumers too much. Wired did an article on it. Yeah, and, uh, a lot, and, and by the yeah. way, uh, Kevin Kelly, who wrote that Wired article, got a lot of heat because he yeah. seemed like he just bought into its hook, line, and sinker without in any way explaining how it worked. They showed pictures that were— they're not, allowed to, they're not allowed to explain it. That's one of the agreements that the early journalists— yeah. uh, they're not allowed to explain the optic chips and how they remove light from uh, your eye path and how they put light in and also how they handle that convergence you were talking about. Right. And how, and that's some of their secret sauce. And they're not allowed to talk about the eye sensors that are in, the, in this thing. It's actually six technologies that are in a product. And they're not also allowed to talk about the form because it's big and prototypey right now and, and dorky. Um, yeah, we saw the one picture, and there were a lot of wires and a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah. But then they release I, videos, which are suspicious, to be kind. No, nah, they're pretty accurate. You think uh, so? From a lot of people who have seen all three products, the, the uh, Magic Leap, the Meta, which I've seen, and the HoloLens, which I've seen, uh, say that the Ma Magic Leap has better optics and better uh, yeah. sensors than the other systems. So when are we going to see we'll it? Do you see. know? I, I'm hearing that it will be next year, maybe at the Consumer Electronics Show or at TED. That's soon. That's six um, months. 
that doesn't mean you're going to be able to buy it. No, but seeing then it would help. They're going to Understanding it, it would help. Then we could at least yeah. judge whether it's real or not. Hololens, hol it is real because they got $1.3 billion and investors so, don't Can give I tell you, you what Theranos' value was at its peak? Yeah, I know. But, you know, it's good enough to give an amazing demo. And everybody who has seen it says it's the most amazing thing okay. they've ever seen. So, and for instance, Ted Shilowitz, the futurist at 20th Century Fox, the mu movie company, says it's the most amazing thing he's ever seen. So, yeah. I, I, I've had enough people who've seen all three say it's um, amazing technology. We don't yet know if it's an amazing company, although they've made amazing hires. Um, and we don't yet know what Apple's going to do. I mean, Apple you mentioned Apple at the beginning. I, is Apple really a player in this, or are they just yes. going to let this pass them on by? So uh, Apple's uh, playing the Steve Jobs playbook, which is let everybody else go out front, prove that there's a market, and then come in and fix the problems with it. For instance, it, let's talk about VR alone, and this is why I'm bullish on, on uh, mobile rather than uh, Oculus, right? And I think even Oculus, the brand name, is going to be far bigger on mobile than it is on, on a, a headset that costs 800 bucks and controllers. I, in Israel, I saw controllers that uh, cost $10 and you can put them into guns and into swords and other things and let you do much of the same stuff I'm doing with the Vive uh, in mobile with, with your hands. I've seen uh, sensors that are similar to these lighthouses that cost very little money that you put up around your house and it'll build a virtual area where you can walk around in it. Those are clearly about 12 months away from being on the market with mobile uh, uh, headsets. So I should have brought my Samsung Gear VR down, but your viewers know what that looks like. Yeah. Uh, you put a mobile phone into the Gear VR, and now you have virtual reality headset. The problem with that, there, there's several. The screens aren't sharp enough. Well, many companies are bringing 4K screens out in the next 12 months. The GPUs are not powerful enough in the phones, and they get hot. Yeah, and they, they really like do. My, my Samsung Gear VR goes off after about 40 minutes right. of playing because it just gets too hot, and then the phone says, oh, sorry, you got to uh, let it cool down a bit. And so there's new GPUs coming in the next 18 months. Certainly 36 months solves that problem. And then there's uh, no way for the phone to really know where it is in the space you're in. Well, Google Tango sensors are coming this fall, and that solves that problem, and and. Apple bought this company called Prime Sense from Israel, which also solves that problem. So I think Apple will come out with a, a phone-based VR probably late next year because they are going to wait for everybody to prove that it works, and it's starting to prove out that it works. And they're going to come out with a product that fixes these you know, three or four areas that are not there yet for, for mobile. And mobile, I think, is going to be how most people play VR, not not Oculus Rift or Vive, because it's, these things are expensive and they're dorky and they're yeah. and they require a PC. Which who wants a PC? To be honest, right. sorry, Microsoft, you know. Well, but, it, but you, and you've spent a lot of money on your on your um, phone. Yeah, eight hundred bucks for each. Well, eight hundred bucks for this. Well, the phone you know, is eight hundred bucks, and and then this is ninety nine bucks. The Gear VR, so. You've spent a lot of money on your phone. Point. Why not use that? That's a powerful computer. You know, it's interesting because Apple's phones right now are not uh, not even 1080p. So, uh, or maybe I guess the big one is. But uh, they've got a way to go. They have not made 4K screens, unlike Samsung, which which has for several years. So that will be one telling thing is when, when you hear rumors that Apple's newest screen is going to be uh, 4K, that's what, going to be. What's really funny is I was sitting next to one of the buyers for Apple on the way to Korea. <laughs> Why did, which, would a buyer from Apple go to Korea? There is nothing in Korea except for LG and Samsung. And uh, OLED and I, screens, yeah. I banged on her for half an hour. Tell me what you're going there to buy, and she wouldn't say a well, damn thing. To be but fair, Apple does use Samsung flash RAMs, and I think they use some Samsung chips. So They, they do, but come on. They are going to come out with a VR headset next year, and they're going to come out. They're playing the Steve Jobs. Yeah, yeah. No, that makes sense. Fun. They don't want to be the this, first. They don't want to get no, all the arrows they, in the back. They're going to be the Apple, second. Apple wasn't even the second of the right. audio players. Remember right. the iPod came out, came out way right. after Creative yep. and after yep. other people 
prove that the uh, you know that the market wanted a, a digital audio player. And same thing with iPhones. iPhone wasn't the first phone. We had Nokia phones for a decade. They got to be careful though, because Samsung is doing it, and uh, Samsung may end up just because they have more experience and they're getting a lot of feedback. You mentioned data; they're getting the data. I'm switching to Android because of VR, and right. this is a dangerous trend for Apple. If Apple loses the rich people to Android because of VR, they are going to see a, a huge disruption. But what's the use case for this? I mean, uh, what? I mean, all sorts of stuff, man. There's all sorts of stuff. There's a there's a doctor in South Africa who works with uh, high end athletes, and she's having those high end athletes exercise their eyes in on a oh, computer screen or in VR. And she's she's taken the the worst uh, cyclist on the South African cycling team in terms of numbers of falls per race. And today, after eight months of playing her game, she he's the best at falling wow. per race. And and she has many many success stories like that. So you're going to play medical uh, things with VR. Uh, if you're depressed, your doctor is going to prescribe it. You know, sometime soon because the the studies are showing that it's very good for that pain relief if you're getting uh surgery you're going to play vr to get, get I'd, over your I'd wear this at the dentist I want absolutely <laughs> you know what maybe i'll bring it to the dentist next time <laughs> do you yeah. mind if i watch a movie